Like trans isn't gender dysphoria and gender dysphoria isn't OROGT. So trans is for, there's a many different definitions of trans. One I'm, I personally prefer is this one, which is trans is an umbrella term to describe people whose gender is not the same as and doesn't sit comfortably with their biological sex. And it's not a diagnosis, it's a description of somebody. And very often it's a description, it's a self-identified description. So I could identify as trans if I wished, and anybody can. Gender dysphoria is a very different thing. Gender dysphoria is a diagnosable mental health condition, and it's the psychological distress that results from an incongruence between a person's biological sex and their sense of identity. That could be what you would argue I had when I was a child. It wasn't called that because I had a different name, but that's very common in mental health. You know, conditions go through different terms depending on the context of the era. And so, yeah, gender related distress is what I often call it. And it's a kind of a horrible feeling of I shouldn't be this. I should be something else. I should be non-binary. I should be a man. And it's, it feels very pervasive and it's very, a very uncomfortable feeling. And then rapid onset gender dysphoria is a new phenomenon. And Dr. Lisa Littman is here to talk about it. She noticed it, first of all, many people were noticing it, but she got the study out that, you know, interviews something like 257 parents and discussed what was happening to these adolescents. It's a new presentation that describes a phenomenon of adolescents who suddenly and rapidly experience a socially mediated expression of gender dysphoria. And so it's, it has happened quickly. It's arrived out of nowhere. The most common question I'm asked is, where did all this come from? And I think Dr. Bell will be touching on that later on. Like, where, what, what has happened? It's not a diagnosis. It's a description of a phenomenon. 